Mm. Yeah, this is good. All right, what's up, Sarah? You know what this is? I do, but I don't think they do. All right, so I think this is the first snowmobile in the world. However, this is what we want to talk about in this episode. What is the first snowmobile in the world, and does this count? All right, hit me up with some Wikipedia knowledge. So Wikipedia, which is, as we all know, is just the most reputable source, um, says that the first snowmobile was patented in 1911, um, and then another in 1915 that was actually more snow vehicle. All right, all right. 1911, 1915. Yeah. This, 1901. So is it a snowmobile or not? Yeah. yeah, some people say this is a train, but trains ride on tracks. There's no tracks. There's skis, and then there is... You know, these kind of tracks. Endless tracks. That's what they're patented as. Right? Kind of looks like a skid. Hey, hey, Rob, do you know anything about Lombard steamers? Maybe. You want to you wanna drop some facts? All drop right. some knowledge bombs? Alvin Orlando Lombard patented this in 1901. Ten years before the supposed first snowmobile. It is the first patented endless track vehicle ever. So, bobcats, snowmobiles, tanks, anything that has tracks. This is the first one. This actually isn't a Lombard. This is a Eau Claire Phoenix Steel version, which was licensed from Lombard. How fast could it go? Five miles an hour, carrying two to three hundred tons. Oh yes, because this is where the guy sat. The steersman. The steersman. The steersman had to sit straddling all of that. There's the seat. There's this little seat that looks very comfortable. That's cushy. Sometimes the smoke and sparks from the smokestack there, the wind was going right, it would catch the steersman on fire. So they'd save up for fire resistant clothing. There are no brakes on these, so when they went down a hill and went out of control, this guy would have to steer it. Wasn't there something that the guys who didn't jump off were called something like badass? They were called stay with her men. <laughs> Because they were staying with her. <laughs> if they didn't jump off as it careened out of control, they were very respected and called the stay, stay with her men. <laughs> Crew consisted of four men. An engineer, fireman who shoveled the coal or wood. There was the steersman up front that steered the thing. And then the conductor was actually on the back of all of the log carts. And there was a string that ran over there and he would pull on a string to run ring a bell in the cab and that's how he'd communicate and sometimes these things would let loose in turns and the guys would just have to jump off <laughs> so wait, he was actually on the locks yeah like up was, there on the... on the back one. Oh my gosh yeah was that the stay witherman the guy who didn't jump off the logs or was it the it was steersman them, okay it seemed like they just gained respect whenever yeah. anyone just like held on and rode it out <laughs> <laughs> Didn't just send it careening into a ditch. Yeah, yeah, you lost street cred if you jumped off this when they got crazy. So <laughs> that's why the stay weather men were, you know. There's not even like a little platform for him to stand. It literally is on the logs. That's that's crazy. All right, so here's the pivotal piece of information to argue my case. This is the first snowmobile. In Antarctica, there is a mountain named Mount Lombard. So Mount Lombard was named after the Lombard log hauler because it was the first application of snow mechanics to trafficability. Now, if you're trafficking over the snow, that's a snowmobile, <laughs> right? Like it's a machine designed yeah, no, to tra I, I traverse I would say snow, snow trafficability. Like this is a snowmobile. And when you get a mountain named after you for it in Antarctica, I feel like that's some street cred too. Yeah, and if this isn't a snowmobile, well then they need to change the name of Mount Lombard. Because... <laughs> We'll, what, we'll what let did they them name know. it after that? Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. That's it. That's all I had to say. If you disagree, you're wrong. So <laughs> It's a very, very important issue to Rob. This is the first snowmobile. Deal with it. Thanks for coming to our TED Talk. <laughs>